All right, welcome everybody to my first uh, aquaponics setup. Um, everything that I did here was right at 200, under $200. Um, that's including the tank. I did already have the tank, but if you add a tank to the price, it's still under $200. Um, that's not counting the greenhouse. I already have the greenhouse also. And uh, basically this is it. Here's my tank. I got South African cichlids in there. Um, the reason that I have the South African cichlids is because I already had the tank with the cichlids in it. I didn't feel the need to kill the fish just to make an aquaponic system, and I'm just keeping them in here. Okay, and as you can see, all I have is a regular pond pump that's pumping the water out, and it's going down into the greenhouse, and the water that you see dripping is actually drainage from the 4-inch PVC. After it goes through all the plants, it's coming right back out into the tank. And the tank actually needs to be cleaned up. So let's take a look in the inside of the greenhouse and see how everything's set up. All right, now as you can see it here, um, it's basically just a four inch PVC. I got 11 cutouts in it. Um, it's a 10 inch PVC, I just cut to make two halves. One half has, has six in it, one half has five. And as you can see, this is where I was saying the pump comes back in. I got a valve to control the water because if I didn't have that, I would have too much water and it would actually overflow out of here. And as you can see, if I pick this up, the water's in there, it's pretty, it stays pretty level because I control the into the inflow also uh, what I have growing here here's some peppers um, I use the hydrogen balls is what you're supposed to use when you do any kind of hydroponics um, and as you can see this root system is actually coming out the best thing that I've seen grow so far in here are the cucumbers those cucumber plants are actually really small and it's only been about a week and a half since I've had these and you can see the root system is just shooting through the PVC pipe already and that's really what gives the um, plant room to grow as long as the roots can grow the plant will grow and the root system will go all throughout this PVC and um, you'll see the cucumber plant actually grow up a little higher um, I have jalapeno peppers right here um, I have some more jalapeno actually this is tomatoes I'm sorry tomato plants actually this tomato plant uh, was actually almost dead I decided to throw it in here Got it from my grandma. She likes to plant tomatoes. I asked her to let me have it through my aquaponic system. She said sure, and now it's doing good. Just in uh, the first week of it being here, these leaves, all these leaves, as you can see, is, isn't real healthy, but they were kind of uh, bent over a little more. Um, I got some sweet bell pepper right here. I got some basil back there, and I have some peppermints right here. And how the setup basically is, it's uh, you know, just a four-inch PVC with a uh, two nineties. To make a 180 um, I got four by four post right here and a five gallon bucket inside the five gallon buckets so I put a 40 pound uh, concrete bag in there mix it up let it sit for a day make sure the posts were level can put it in the greenhouse make sure the PVC was level the way the water can go all the way through and then back out the system so um, also you can see my valve over there on the outflow most of that stays wide open because the the inflow is just too much I actually it actually goes from half inch to three quarters I figure that'd be enough for the outflow but you can probably make it up to an inch for the outflow and that way you can cut some more water and make the current a little bigger but on my next uh, project I will try to remember that so first aquaponic system